Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this quick video is some troubleshooting from the real world on a Grandstream UCM. So it doesn't matter uh, whether it's a 6200 series or a 6300 series, but if you have a 6202, 6302, some sort of a device that has FXO and FXS lines, then this troubleshooting applies to you. So let's say that you have a, a customer or even you, you're getting a SIP converted to analog. Verizon does it, AT&T does it, Comcast does it, Cox does it, you name, Spectrum does it, name a system, they'll do that. So they'll deliver SIP to you, but they'll convert it to analog. And this happens quite a bit. So when we install a phone system like that, uh, we use the FXO ports to interface with those phone lines. So let's say you've set up your system and you've got your FXO trunk set up. So we'll come in here and we'll go to analog trunk and we'll create our trunk. We'll put both of our ports in and we're going to go ahead and save that. There's a little bit more there's a little bit more to this, but this is one of the main hangups that you can see. So we've created our analog trunk. Let's say we've already got our inbound route created and you're calling the numbers and nothing, no calls are coming through or sporadic calls are coming through. What, what's the problem? Well, the number one culprit we've found is the caller ID and you'll see this out there. So, Get rid of forcing caller ID, and once you do that, your issue may go ahead and clear up. If it doesn't clear up, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tune those FXO ports. And you can do that. Uh, I'll show you here in just a second. You can do that by coming in and doing a PSTN de detection, and you're going to do it in semi. And then what it's going to do is it's going to walk you through. You know, You'll put a phone number in here, and it'll tell you when the phone picks up click OK. When you hang up, click OK. It'll walk you through that and it'll change the settings of the FXO ports if needed to be optimum for the service that you're connected to. But this little uh, use caller ID checkbox causes more problems with copper trunks than you can imagine. So if you're having problems, check that out. Stick this in your tool bag. And if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links and a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, you've got a phone system that you need to tackle that you're having problems with or Synology or you name it. Reach out at willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.